Hey, it's Andres from Swerve, coming to you from downtown New Orleans, my condo, where I'm trying to cook up some of these necessities that we need during the time that um, we're not able to go out to restaurants as often. We're having to use some of the supplies that we have um, gotten from the grocery store. And so one of my very favorite things would be canned green beans. Yes, I guess you would call it a guilty pleasure. I know fresh green beans are better for you, but I grew up eating a ton of canned green beans. My mom was always working, and so she had to do what was fast and what was easy, and well, so I grew up on canned green beans. I have every kind. Whole Foods 365, Del Monte, Libby's, you name it, I have it. And so I'm gonna show you today a little Southern chip because maybe some of you know I'm from Alabama. A lot of you probably have no earthly idea where I'm from, but from a little town in Southeast Alabama called Ozark, Alabama. And this is our Southern way of taking a can of beans and actually dressing them up a little bit, Southern style. Learned this from my mom. So who used an old school can opener? I always use an old school can opener. Um, no room for the actual electric one on my countertop. So, okay, this is really simple. And again, I think you'll enjoy it when it comes time to using those canned goods at this time. So, okay, can of green beans here. Don't drain them, use the juice that's in there. I don't know if any of you have ever used this, but the better than bouillon, I'm in love with this stuff. When I was growing up, my mom used something that was absolutely not good for us. I'm sure it had MSG in it, um, but it tasted really good. It was a ham base. If you don't have the better than bouillon, and look, you don't need much at all. This is a teeny little, this is like a little tea teas teaspoon right here. So if you just get a little bit of that in there, and that stuff is a little sticky, kind of like tar, if you put a little of that in there, also you need a little pat of butter, not too much, just a pat. I really don't measure things, you guys, I'm sorry. I'm not big on um, like really measuring stuff. I just kind of look at it and eyeball it, maybe coming from my grandmother, both of my grandmothers, fantastic cooks, my mother. I think my mother measures everything though, me not so much. And then my mom always put a teaspoon of sugar in all of our vegetables. It just takes that little edge off, makes them maybe taste less canned. But of course, in my adult life, what do I use? Swerve. So just a little sprinkle of swerve in there, what would equate to about a teaspoon as well. Um, and now, here's the trick. You can't just heat these babies up for a second. You need to heat them up, bring it to a boil, let it boil for maybe just a minute or so, and then cut it down and let it simmer and let that goodness of all these little flavors you've just put in there soak into those green beans. So that's what I'm gonna do. Hang on, hang on. Be right back. So I have my green beans on medium heat over here. Again, gonna bring them to a boil, but then I'm gonna let them sit there and simmer. Maybe not even simmer that much, but for probably about 20 minutes or so. I promise you it'll make all the difference. All right, I'll show you the finished product in just 20 minutes or so. Okay, so I guess we'll call these my mama's green beans and guess what, they're ready. Let's get them. All right, just my little pan of green beans right here. Do you see them? But oh my goodness, just that smell is so nostalgic. It makes me feel like I'm back home. And in times like this, we need that extra comfort, that feeling of being home. Even though I'm 45 years old, Times like this, you feel like I want my mama and something like this brings me closer to her and closer to my family without actually being close, like we don't need to be too close right now. So I'm excited about sharing these green beans with you guys so that you can experience a little of that comfort too. So just to make them a little bit more exciting to look at, look at that steam coming off. And do you see that, that pot liquor? That's what we call it in the South, pot liquor. A lot of times that's used in regard to turnips and collard greens and things like that, but this is some good pot liquor in these green beans. So I hope you'll enjoy and use the best of your canned vegetables. And look, the swerve trick, adding that little teaspoon in your vegetables, it works for all canned vegetables, even frozen as well. Just gives it that little extra, take the edge off and makes them that much tastier. 
So from our family to yours in New Orleans, stay in high spirits and be safe.